Yo guys, what's up? This is Tom from Unreal Meta and in this tutorial I will show you how to get more realistic results with the new water system in Unreal Engine. First of all, I have to say you can't get hyperrealism with this basic setup. You have to set up your own material that has realistic form and you need caustics and physics and all that stuff to get hyper realistic results but there are some techniques you can increase the realism of this new water system so we jump right in by going to a water material lake and scrolling down till we get to global vector parameter values and here's this point scattering let's activate that so I have here blue greenish water and if I combine this with red I will get purple results let's just do that and try it yeah you can see it gets really dark and purple and I think this increases the realism a lot because you get this real depth of the lake let's make this a little bit lighter because it isn't so deep here it's just like this but I think that's okay let's turn it off and see what happens without the scattering yeah it looks like this very flat but if we turn it on it looks deep and we get more realistic results I know it looks like greenish here at the edges but that's okay it's because I have the world default material here on my landscape but if you have a dirt texture underneath it or something else it will not look like this okay let's continue so we scroll down here to water shading this is a very important step I think because this can get you more realism so let's increase the value of the anisotropy and you will get this result that the lake is even deeper you can do that with oceans like it gets very deep and very dark blue but I will just leave it at one here so it looks like this without and with the anisotropy like this I think that's too deep so I just go with 0 0.4 maybe yeah that looks better and let's go for the refraction you can see how the water changes if I increase the depth for a minimum refraction it refracts even more but I think I'll just leave it at here and mess with the refraction itself so if I go to 1 you can see there's no refraction and if I go to 10 there's just this really big mess but let's say a number of 1.2 and I like this I think that's very cool looking but for me I just leave it in 1.15 if you do oceans or something you can increase it but for me that's fine so what the refraction far does is it just increases and decreases the refraction so if I type in 10 we get this mess another time so I just leave it at 1.02 for the water albedo I don't know what this really changes but if I let's say go like this it doesn't change anything so I just leave it at white for the water fernal roughness that's important for oceans I think so a fernal function is the water gets distorted at the edges and it looks like this now and when I increase the value to maybe 10 you can see how this is happening it looks flat and not distorted over all when I look from this angle and this can be nice if I set the value to 2 maybe for oceans but for lakes this, this just doesn't look good so the value was 0 0.1 and I think I want to increase it a little bit more so I go to 0 0.2 and just leave it at here 
Now for the water roughness, this has basically the same effect, but it doesn't distort the water. It just make it more rough, like look at this. It doesn't look realistic, but if you, let's say, pick a number of 0 0.05, this can look good for lakes. Higher numbers can look good for oceans. And yeah, for the water specular, yeah, the water specular is just how the water shines. So if I go to one, it shines even more. I think this can be very nice too. Let's say we leave the water roughness at its base value, but increase the specular here. I did that. Let's turn it off and let's turn it on. If I turn it on, it looks even better. And I think with these settings, we got much more realistic results than at the beginning. But I will say it another time, this is for stylized environments or games. It's not for hyper-realistic scenes. And you have to make your own water material and replace it with the water material like here. But yeah, I hope you liked the tutorial. If yes, leave a thumbs up. If no, leave a thumbs down. As always, I'll see you next time and bye.